Hi guys, I uh, so I can get this without my phone falling or camera falling up. There we go. I am going to do my unboxing video um, for the stuff that I picked up when we were at American Girl. So I said I was going to do my video first, but I ended up doing the kids video first. All because I wanted to give the kids their stuff. Um, I'm doing mine a few days later. Um, we ended up having my niece spend a few nights this week, so... Um, yeah, I just things got backed up and the girls didn't want to go to sleep. So I've already previously unboxed this, but I'm going to set this over here because that was in the bag. That was sitting on the top. Okay, so let's get started. First off, I got these super cute dark blue glasses for dolls. I'm going to open them up. These I got for Keisha. Um, Lily has, I think, the raspberry glasses. And... The real Keisha has glasses, so I've been looking at her like a something. She needs her own glasses. So hers has this American Girl, um, what is this? It's like a fleecy glasses case, and it's hot pink with red stitching. And then the glasses are these really pretty blue, bluish purple color. So I thought these I'm going to put them over there so I don't sit on them at some point. Um, are really cute. Um, they fit her personality. And then the outfit, I'm going to do a changing video with her later. And I'm going to put her in this outfit that I got in American Girl. It is their purchase and a purchase outfit. So first off, it's this top. And it's this cute purple top. There's a rainbow that's got red, or purple, red, pink, yellow, green, and blue. Then we've got coconut down here, and it has choose your dreams, and there's some stars in there. And it's called Coconut's Rainbow Tea. And the t-shirt itself is purple. And I don't remember seeing this t-shirt um, in any of the catalogs. So, part of, like, their website, their website's really confusing and kind of hard to navigate unless you really know what you're looking for. So, it could have been on there, and I just didn't see it on there. But there's it out of the package. One thing, taking this stuff out of the package makes the true color, because part of it is they have that hot pink and red packaging, and that sometimes makes it hard to tell colors. Like, those blue glasses did not look their true color in the packaging. Um, I actually had to look at the display to pick which color or which glasses I wanted for Keisha. So then with the purchase and the purchase, it came with these super cute overall, um, or it says suspender, soup star suspender skirt. So I'm going to take it off the package. The suspender popped off. Oh, okay. Pop that through. There we go. A little bag over here to put all the garbage in so it's this really cute denim skirt it's and it is actual denim it's not like a denim look like with it's like a darker denim it has like these kind of light blue stars all over it it has the AG logo right on the corner and it's got these really cute purple suspenders and the suspenders stay on it so they just hook on like you would suspenders in the front. Um, they're elastic suspenders except for in the back. It's this faux leather backing. And then where the suspenders branch out. So this outfit goes together. And I thought that was really cute. And I thought that would look cute with her glasses. Since her glasses are kind of a purpley blue. So there will be a changing video for her. And um, I'll do this outfit next. Then I got the U.S. Team USA um, gymnastics set. Now, personally, I really wanted the soccer set. But my son wanted it, and of course, your kids always went out. And my daughter got the softball set. So really, all we need is the, I think they have a track and swimming sets that were left. 
that we didn't get. Um, who knows, I may actually get them eventually. Um, because we've got the Team USA medal set. I got the gymnastics. My daughter got softball. Oh, volleyball is the other one. So I'm going to open it up and we'll show you what's inside. So right on the top is this really cute leotard. Um, part of it, it starts out, we'll just start with the back. So the back is just all navy blue and then you come to the front and around the neckline it's white and kind of off to one shoulder and it comes around um, is this silver sequins. And then the other shoulder is completely white. One shoulder is half white, half navy blue. And then one sleeve is all white and it says Team USA. And the other sleeve is all red. And then the main body of the leotard is navy blue and it's got this silver star pattern on it. And the back is just Velcro to get it on and off. And that comes with these all red, like a stretchy athletic material shorts. And they say Team USA on the one leg. And they've got the American Girl um, plastic logo thing on the other leg. So those they would have on before doing their gymnastics events. Then we've got a red hair scrunchie. Um, we've got the wrist guards. So there's two little wrist guards that they're just all white. And then lastly in this set comes with the two white floor slippers. Um, so in gymnastics they usually wear around these little floor slippers before they do their events. And then they take them off typically for their events. There's a few events that they actually have them on for, but some events they don't. They're just barefooted. I'm going to put all that back in the box. I'll leave the box open. And then now we are going to get into the two sets that I got that are very intricate. So first is the Truly Me Asthma and Allergy Set. And I had opened it before and then I looked in there and I'm like, eww, lots of little pieces. So take that out so I'm gonna probably do what I do with my daughter's things with this set I'm gonna cut the box open and all this is gonna go in a ziplock bag in fact I'm gonna grab one of those quickly so that I can just put the stuff in it as I do this I've got these for those Texans out there our Texas tough HEB bag put the items in as I open them and show them just because there's lots of little pieces and I don't want them lost. So I'm gonna sit that there, prop the bag open. And I know Crystal touched on this before and I find it annoying too. There's all these little packages. Yes, yes, this is an intricate kit, but why do I have one big package? Oh, two. Oh, I forgot there was a bag. But each thing is individually packaged. Like that's a lot of waste. So I'm going to open up this one first. Man, there was a better way they could have done this without all this plastic. So, we will start off. We've got in a little American Girl um, bag. It, um, it Velcros in the front. It's got a large pocket right here and a few smaller pockets. This would be, and then a hook on the side to hook it to like your pants or a backpack. Um, those that actually have allergies and asthma know that having your stuff together is probably one of the best things. Um, I actually have an EpiPen for an allergy and I have asthma, so I have all my stuff in a special case that is in my bag. Or I did. Yeah, I do. So anyways, um, also on the front of it, it has a heart, a medical logo, and then a star, and then it says American Girl. And on the inside, it has the heart, the medical logo, a star, and it says American Girl. Yeah, you even... Okay. Then there's also this sheet that says Asthma Action Plan. And it has the name, the doctor, the date, 
medical record number, doctor's phone number, um, for days, weekends, emergency contact, and doctor's signature. And then it just has information about um, if you would have asthma, typically you have one of these action plans. I know my kids have one of these for their school because both of them have asthma. So um, our school faxes over to our doctor. Our doctor faxes us back to the school. So the school has it on hand what to happen or what to do in a case of an emergency. So I'm just going to slide that down in the bag. Oh, it won't fit in the bag. Okay, so that'll just go in that Ziploc bag. Um, then we've got food allergy stickers, and there's the bracelet down there. So we've got no peanuts, no strawberries, no fish, no eggs, no wheat, no beans, no milk, no... It's supposed to, it's a little crab, what it would mean, shellfish. So it'd be basically no nuts, no um, seeded berries, um, no fish, no eggs, no gluten, no beans no dairy and no shellfish and those would correspond you wouldn't have to use all of them you could use whichever ones you want for your doll in my case i would have to do the no the little crab with the no shellfish but there is this bracelet it's a pink plastic bracelet and it's got little circles in each link so to speak and you put one of the stickers in each one of the circles and then it little clasp and it is an allergy bracelet. Um, I'm probably not going to use that, but I just love this whole set. And then lastly from this bag, this separate bag of bags, um, is the inhaler spacer. So those that have asthma know what one of these is. They're a chamber spacer. Uh, you put on this side, you would put your inhaler and then you breathe in on this side. So the side for the inhaler is plastic and it's purple. The side to breathe in is plastic and it's purple and it has the little cover to cover the mouthpiece and it has on it chamber spacer and then it has the heart, the medical logo and the star on it on the clear plastic portion. And on a real one it has like a rubbery side here and a rubbery side or like a plastic side here and then this is always clear. So we've got plenty of these floating around our house. I'm just going to set it right here because it will go in the asthma bag, but I'll show you what was one of the little inhalers. Now this is where it gets really ridiculous. I mean, look at all these little... Each thing is individually wrapped. I mean, did that really... Was that necessary, American Girl? So, um... Start with this first one that I picked up. This is, oh, a little package of American Girl facial tissues. So the sides are teal, and then the top and bottom are navy blue with teal polka dots. The other side, the small sides are just clear. There's nothing in it, it's just, oh, well, there's kind of something in it. I don't know if it'll focus. There's some, like, stuffing in there, and it says American Girl facial tissues. So it's supposed to be like a little package of tissues kind of cute for those with allergies so I'll throw those in the bag right away um, what is this thing I want what this is this is super cute guys how, how cute is this it's a little teeny tiny bottle of allergy medicine so the top is navy blue the um, Bottles labels has this ombre effect from pink up to navy blue and then it says allergy medicine on it and then once again it has that heart medical star and then American girl on it. Uh, we'll go to this next. Kind of disappointed that there's only one because typically you get two. And this is a little epinephrine auto-injector for allergic emergencies, anaphylaxis. So I have one of these, actually I have two of these, more than two. You're supposed to carry two at a time. But I have plenty of these around the house for my allergies, but I thought this was super cute. So it's, 
it's got a black top it doesn't come off though and then the pen itself is just gray and then the label is blue with pink writing or kind of a pinkish purple so we're going to put the epi pen right here because that doesn't need to be dug down and hidden with the rest of the stuff then next we've got this little package and this is allergy nasal spray oh my gosh y'all did it does it does it it goes up and down like real allergy spray oh my gosh that is so stinking cute so it's just a white bottle like you'd get like um flonase in actually flonase this is an amber color and it is a um kind of brownish orange label that's orange actually and it says allergy nasal spray in navy blue and <laughs> how stinking cute is that you can spray it up your doll's nose that is adorable and then we've got one of these is a rescue inhaler and one of these is a um, maintenance inhaler in all honesty i can't remember which color is what i want to say the blue one is the blue one is the maintenance and i think the orange one is the um rescue yep i was right so we've got this cute little inhaler holder that it is a light orange here and then the cover for the mouthpiece is this dark orange and it's got a little clip on the back that you can turn so that you can put it in your doll's hand and then it comes with oh, you can squish it down oh my gosh that's so cute and then this one has american girl rescue medication and then steroid on it and that's an orange so this would go in with this inhaler and then you would push down it should be coming up should pop up but okay we'll come back out ah kind of hard to get back out um you just push it down and then you've got the little opening for the mouthpiece so you can use it without the chamber or with the chamber and here is how it looks with the chamber so in a real case you just slide it in like that one side that's chamber receiver and then you would open up and then put this portion in your mouth you would press down it would shoot the medication in here and then you would breathe it in um, typically when you start having to use inhalers they always start you out with these chambers some doctors even as adults prefer you to use the chambers a lot of times the older you get you can take the chamber away and then just have the inhaler but for kids they really like to have the chambers because they're easier to control breathing in versus just doing the inhaler so we have lots of these chambers sitting around the house so I'll put that in there and then I like right the blue is going to be the um that, well, orange was rescue and the blue is maintenance inhaler and then this one has control medication on it so it's got a blue stripe on the label it says control medication control would be um hopefully it'll focus now the control medication would mean that it's your um maintenance medication and then it has ibisrol and then it's got this blue inhaler holder this one pushed down too yep that just slides in there and then it opens just like the orange one so that is the asthma and allergy set i thought this was really cute that it all goes in the little bag so when your dolls are out and about they've got their asthma and allergy stuff and then lastly see this guys i'm already at 18 minutes because these sets are so intricate um, lastly, I've got the diabetes kit. Uh, where is did I open? I hope this one just pops open. So, here's the diabetes kit. 
Well, these are all packaged individually as well, but at least it's not packages and packages and packages. So I'm going to grab another Ziploc of baggies over here for it. So I've got this baggie for my diabetes kit. First off, I'm pulling out the bag. I'll probably do what I did with the allergy kit as far as putting the items in the bag as we go and then put everything in the big Ziploc bag. Um, I don't know if I'm going to put the insulin pump on one of my dolls yet. Um, so as of now, it's just going to stay in here until I decide what I want to do with it. So first off, we've got this pink little bag it says American girl on it has this belongs to and then a spot to fill in the information on the front and the little card can come out and go back in I'm just gonna leave it there um, the piping on the bag is gray the carry strap on the bag is gray and the zipper on the bag is gray I do this sit that there okay I'm just gonna pull things out randomly and then put it in the bag. So first off, I have the glucose tablets. Um, it's a little white bottle with an orange wrapper on it that says a glucose tablets, fast acting, and there's 10 tablets in there. And they are orange flavor. Um, for those that don't have diabetes, when you have a sugar low, these are what you need to carry around with you. Or the other... Um, suggestion that was made to me i had gestational diabetes with both of my kids um was honey packets because if you go on go on um, into a diabetic coma and they need due to um go into a diabetic coma due to low blood sugars a person can squeeze some honey into the side of your cheek and rub it in and your body will automatically swallow it, but it won't be too thin and it won't be too thick. It'll be thick enough to get, to not make you choke, but it'll be thin enough to get it down, um, to raise your blood sugars. But, um, that was what was recommended to me or those glucose tablets. Also, when you're starting to feel low, you take your blood sugar and you need something quick. Those glucose tablets are highly recommended. Um, next up is this purple stretchy bracelet, and on it it says type 1 diabetes. You probably can't read that because it's even difficult for me to read. And then it has the medical symbols next to it in purple, so that would be the medical bracelet. Uh, next is... Open up. Next would be an insulin pen. Oh, that's the lancet. So it's a purple pen or a, pur a white pen. The clicking, it doesn't turn all the way. It just turns a little bit. Where you would turn is pink. And then it has American Girl insulin pen. Does the lid come off? Yep, the lid does come off. And it has kind of where the amount would be. And then a pretend little mini needle. Um, when you have insulin pens like this, they just have little teeny tiny needles on them. They're really, really small. <sighs> I don't even think, I think the longest needle for my one insulin pen was a fourth of an inch. The others were less than, no, it was a third of an inch. The others were less than a fourth of an inch. And that was because I had to pick some up at the pharmacy because I had ran out and I usually did mail order pharmacy. And that's all that the physical pharmacy had, so I had some longer needles until the mail order pharmacy was able to get my needles sent to me. And then we've got the Lancet. It is a white little, what does it say on it? Oh, made in China. It's a white Lancet with the, the spot to put plunger thing. Or, oh, it pushes in so you can pretend to take your to poke your doll so it's got the one end is blue and the tip is blue as well I don't know my lancets were always different um, 
my thing, my blood glucose sugar mon or my glucose monitor, I didn't have an insulin pump, so I didn't have something attached to me with my glucose information, but I didn't have a separate lancet. Mine was, the lancet was connected to the monitor. So I just had to put the needle in and then press a button and it would shoot out at me. So that's the little lancet. Um, this would be... Okay. So this is the monitor. The glucose monitor. And this girl is actually doing pretty good if this is post-meal. So it's one side where... It, is all blue the back side and it's got a little spot for the doll to hold on to the front is gray and it says American Girl 104 um, this was taken at 11:30 a.m. and the 104 would have been her glucose and then it's got a star button in the middle and then two buttons on the side and then the little test strip the pretend test strip is on the front it does not go in and out it's just it's permanently hanging out there. I thought there was supposed to be a lamp, a bag with it, or a, a bottle with test strips. Hmm. Storage case, ID card, medical bracelet, glucose monitor, one lancet, one glucose tablet. Okay, no it didn't. I thought it had a, a little container to put that had the extra lancets in it. And then lastly, we have got the insulin pump. Uh, there we go. So here's the insulin pump. Um, for those that have type 1 diabetes or type some people with type 2 diabetes, they have these insulin pumps. Um, so we'll start at the top. The part that goes on to the body is just a white rounded area. And it's connected to this, oh, comes off. So it's right here. It's connected to this clear tube. And the clear tube is connected to the monitor. And then I'm going to turn this over because this is bugging me. It's connected to the monitor. The monitor itself is gray. There's a little button, pink button on the top. There's two pink buttons on the front. And on the front it says 1130 as well. And then it has the 104. On the side it has the ins the other side has on focus this area it's kind of a pinkish clear color and it has where the insulin would be stored and then there's a little hook on the back to hang it on a belt buckle so that is the little insulin pump like I said I don't know who's gonna have diabetes yet but who's gonna be type 1 diabetic I just absolutely loved this set um, Coming from a father who had type 1 diabetes, I have a cousin who had type 1 diabetes, or who has. Uh, I've had gestational diabetes, depending upon who you talk, prior to surgery. I had type 2 diabetes. I only ever had to be on insulin when I was pregnant, but diabetes is kind of near and dear to my heart. Um, then we've also got the daily diabetes log, and it's a little um, cardboard front, and it's white, and it's got maroon yellow green stars all over it and then you open it up and it has monday breakfast before um okay really tiny okay monday dose breakfast dose and reading lunch dose and reading dinner dose and reading and snack dose and reading and that goes down all week and then it's a whole booklet of the weeks because when you have diabetes you need to keep track of your sugars and what your or your glucose and what you're eating kind of or how much you've been giving for insulin so like say for instance I ate a milkshake and I needed to take three units of insulin and that was my snack which a milkshake is not healthy for a snack but I'm just using that as an example because that's the first thing that came to my head um, you would write down that you gave yourself three units with the snack and then two hours, well depending upon your doctor, I always had to do it two hours post meal. I had to take my blood sugar and then make sure that it was okay. So there's the little, I put it in the bag. And then lastly, oh, and then here's the directions. 
So here's the directions and the contents of the package. Sorry guys, it cut out and I don't know where it cut out. Um, so I want to thank Crystal for letting me know about the allergy and asthma kit. Um, I've been wanting the diabetes kit for a while, but um, I just never bought it for myself. But when I found out the allergy kit, I knew I needed to get that, so thank you, Crystal. And then I'm like, well, as long as I'm getting it, I might as well get myself the diabetes kit that I've been wanting for a long while. So um, I hope you enjoyed this video. And I will see you in the next video. I'm going to be doing a changing of Lily. And I'm going to be doing a changing video of um, Keisha. So I will see everyone later. Bye.